In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit a time slice. Break. Tomato, tomorrow, call me model. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video is the most requested video that I get on all of my social channels. It's also my favorite thing to edit, and that's a time slice. For today's video, I'm going to go over how I edit the animated part of a time slice. So if you're wondering how to edit a still time slice, or if you're wondering how to shoot and edit a holy grail time lapse, check the links in the description for those. Also consider subscribing if you want to check out when a new video drops. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So the first thing that I do is import a holy grail time lapse into my timeline. Now, I use Final Cut Pro, but the same technique works for Premiere Pro and also DaVinci Resolve. The next thing you want to do is trim the edges of your clip. When we slice, we roughly want to have the same amount of slices for daytime, golden hour, blue hour, and nighttime. Once you've trimmed the edges, change the speed of the clip so it's 10 seconds long. Now, even if you've imported a time lapse that's already stabilized, it doesn't hurt to stabilize your clip just in case. The last thing that we want to have is a jump between our slices. Speaking of slices, now we start slicing. We start by duplicating the clip and moving it on top of the original layer and to the right by half a second. All that simply does is repeat the entire time lapse half a second into your timeline. So instead, what we want to do is we want to mask out 5% of the left hand side. It's kind of like what you would do in with layer masks and Photoshop. We do that by simply clicking on the top layer and cropping it by 5% on the left hand side. You simply have to repeat that same process again. So duplicate the top layer, move it to the right by half a second, then crop it by an additional 5%. Now repeat that same process over and over again, making sure that you're cropping it by increments of 5% until you reach, of course, 95%. And for Final Cut Pro users, unfortunately, we can't crop by percentage. We can only crop by pixel. If the final result is a 4K video, take the 4K resolution, which is 3840, and divide that by the total number of slices, which is 20, and that will give you the number of pixels. I believe it's 192. So then you continue to crop by increments of 192 pixels. Once you've added your slices up until the 20th slice, select all of your clips, duplicate them, then move them to the right where the beginning of the second set snaps onto the end of the first set. For a good slice, you want to showcase the environment go from day to night to night to day. And we do that by reversing the speed of the second set of clips. We're almost done. All that's left to do is select all of your clips, duplicate them one more time, and then again, move them all the way to the right so that the beginning of the second set snaps onto the end of the first set. So to summarize things, you'll end up having four sets of clips, one that's moving forward, forward, reverse, forward, and then reverse. The last thing that's left is to just slice those edges so that you have a perfect rectangle and then create a compound layer, having everything in one and change that speed to 10 seconds long. Once you do all of that, you'll end up with something like this. And that's it for today's tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you were to do things differently, again, I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. That's also it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And until then, look after one another and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.